What is going on guys and welcome to responsive website. In this video I'm going to create a imaginary responsive website for let's say imaginary sushi bar over here and you can see that we're going to add over here this big header that has a logo and over here it's going to be like a link right but as we're scrolling actually down you can see that we're going to be adding actually images that we're going to have some animation and over here you can see that we're going to be creating this uh, zoom in effect right and also we're going to add a light box so when we press you can see that we have a image that is actually jquery uh, plugin right the light box plugin then we're going to add a over here uh, a form and then over here it's going to be a iframe that's going to have a map right and last but not least we're actually going to add over here these uh, social uh, media icons right with font awesome and we'll over here we'll have this little scroller that we can actually scroll back all the way to the top right and over here obviously this is a typical bootstrap a navbar menu over here so in this video we're going to be working with a html5 css3 and bootstrap of course then uh, there's going to be two or three jquery plugins over here the light box and the scroller all the way to the top and obviously as you can see over here there's also going to be wow gs plugin because as you can see that it's only when we're scrolling down then the images let's say and everything else is appearing right so that's going to be wow gs and animate css right that's what we're going to be using and last but not least Actually, one of the most important things is that this uh, website is obviously going to be responsive because we're going to be using a bootstrap grid. So it doesn't matter the size of the screen, right? We still have this over here. Everything fits uh, perfectly and everything it's like supposed to be, right? And here or here you can see that we're going to do a little bit of a uh, custom, right, CSS where we're going to create actual uh, bootstrap navbar that's actually going to be transparent, all that. So enough of me talking let's jump to our text errors and let's start